Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am taking you along with me to Palmetto Goodwill here in the Yellow Country. Super excited, they sent me a $25 gift card basically asking if I wanted to get this gift card, go to one of their locations, find an item, revamp it, give it new life, and have it be a spring slash summer edition type item. I have the perfect item in mind. I'm really, really hoping I can find it at one of the locations. It's going to be a two-tier metal filing cabinet. So fingers crossed we can go find that at one of these locations. I will be searching until I find it because that's what I want. Um, unless something else pops up in my head, but that's my plan so far. So let's go along on this uh, journey to Palmetto Goodwill. Yeah, that's how you make it set a goal you control and the steps you take them i try to pick one thought have some concentration and if i make a mistake it's called education i try to do this every day call it replication Wake up. went over to lowe's and picked up a primer and this satin black rust-oleum spray paint i think i got two bottles and i have another bottle here but we will clean this guy up Get all that gunk off, take the drawers out, I will flip it on the back, lay flat, and then they'll look so cute here. Let's see the I think there's a reason though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, y'all. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. You always gotta fight. The issue I am now running into is that my filing cabinet does not have a covered bottom. So I need to make something that will cover this because this is going to be on one of the sides. The top is fine and has that metal plate. So I have an extra like six or eight foot board of cedar from my cedar garden bed that I made a while back. And uh, I'm just going to cut down some strips and attach them to the bottom. It's not going to be the most beautiful thing in the world because it's not consecutive on both sides. but gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm cutting down the cedar and then I'm gonna just screw it in to the filing cabinet. Take it. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Cut all my cypress or cedar. I'm pretty sure it's cedar, I cannot remember. Cut it all down, put it up on here just to get an idea. There is still a small gap. So each one, each of the layers will have a gap in between it. But yeah, this looks better than having a giant hole on the side or trying to figure something else out that, yeah, we're good. I had just enough space at that top link that you saw to put one piece of cardboard all the way up so it'll all be evenly spaced. It looks super nice and clean. Unfortunately, obviously the other side's not gonna look like this, but it doesn't bother me if it bothers you get a full sheet of something. I just don't want to go spend the money on something that's not going to break down. This is going to be outside in the elements. So I'm using a, a more rot resistant wood. Again, it's going to be painted as well. So that'll be an extra uh, step to keep it from uh, withering away from outside. But this is what we're looking at for right now. How cool is that? Let's secure it. I'm just gonna secure it with some screws from the opposite side coming into the wood this way from the interior. My next step is to basically create a, basically create the base for this thing. So I don't want the metal just sitting on the sidewalk or the concrete around my house. I want it to be raised up. That way the water can drain through. This is gonna be a garden bed, like I said. It'll probably just have snake plants or something in it. But I have this pressure treated two by four and I'm going to basically just build a cute little base to raise the whole thing up and then these will also, I don't know if I'll stain them, I'll probably paint them black. And I'm thinking too to leave, um, to leave this guy natural on the side. I think that'd be pretty cool. So have this guy be natural and then have the rest of it all be black. So that's my plan so far. Let's create this base, you guys. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, y'all. Yeah. Negative thoughts are poison, they rot. Uh, head full of flaws, so here come the clock. We're just gonna make a small box. So I put the pocket holes on the interior side of this guy, and then we'll just put the pocket hole screw side facing inboard. You know, ship knowledge for y'all. Um, like this. And then this is going to be the, the base of the filing cabinet. 
conversation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day we made a box. So this is going on the bottom of that guy. I'm gonna secure it with some screws and then I'm gonna clean it all up. Spray paint it all black and then we'll put that side piece back on because remember, this guy unfortunately did not have one of these, which I thought it did, but make sure you check that or else you're gonna have to figure out something for that end. So let's put this guy on here. Step on. Wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be it. Giving everything a super light sanding, and then we will start priming it and spraying it. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. So for some reason my Craig Jag, the square head attachment decided to strip on me. So half of the, the base bottoms have the Craig Jag screw and the other ones I had to put directly from the front to screw them in. And I had to fill the holes so I put in some wood filler. I have to sand that down. And then once that's all dried and sanded down, I'm gonna wipe it all off and give it a good wash. And then we'll put the primer on. But for today, I'm calling it a day. It's nice out. It's um. You know, not supposed to rain, so I want to take the dogs out and uh, enjoy a little bit of a cool day. So, until tomorrow. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 So life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason now. Boys in their ride, uh. Head full of flowers, so here come the clouds, uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh, Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Hopefully you guys can hear me. There's a lot of elements outside, but I just filled this guy up with some extra stuff I had on hand. I had some <clears throat> larger planters that I screwed into two by fours and just put them on the bottom. I'm just trying to take up space within this massive box so I'm not filling it entirely with soil. And it's also better for the drainage if you don't have just straight soil. <clears throat> so, I don't know if you can see it, but right over there is a little two by four. Um, again, just taking up space here. So use what you have, fill a bunch of space. I'm gonna tarp it out. That way, again, I'm not filling all these voided areas full of soil. Don't wanna spend that much money on soil, so we'll continue. This is what we're working with. Like I've been saying, I added what I had. I'm gonna put um, a piece of plastic up around it, and that way I will just have to fill the soil up and around and not all these huge spots. I also drilled a bunch of holes throughout the bottom for um, drainage. Good day, wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Look at that. It already looks so much better. So I'm gonna make sure I have some holes within this tarp. I know there were some, but I'm just gonna double, double check and make some more. But we'll go get the soil and the plants and fill her up. I'm so excited. It's already so pretty. I'll never 
stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaking I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a game Cause it's temptation I know that I like to do it cause it's sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Sneak peek Oh shoot, can't see it. Good day, wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Alrighty, you guys, that's gonna wrap up the video for this DIY thrift flip filing cabinet into a planter. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. I worked super hard on trying to get this all done within a couple of days. And um, again, shout out to Goodwill. Thanks for wanting to work with me. I really enjoyed doing this project and it was something I wanted to do anyways. So it's even better to work with the brand and uh, get it done. So again, if you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe so you don't miss more videos with me. And then if you have any questions or comments, drop them below and I'll get back to you guys for those as soon as I can. Um, yeah, make sure you're following me on all my other social medias so you don't miss the more frequent day to day stuff. I try and post or I'm trying to post more YouTube content just to get better at that and make sure I'm capturing all my projects and in the entirety. Um, because I know on Instagram, a lot of stuff is very fast paced and here I can slow it down a bit and really give you guys the information. I still tend to speed stuff up because it's just like for me personally it's boring to watch when someone's like drilling something in i'm like okay i know how to drill something in um, but if you guys want me to slow things down drop them in the comments how am i supposed to know um so i'm trying to trying to figure it all out but I, i'm creating videos in the way that i think i learn best um so yeah if you if you don't agree and you want things to be slowed down even more let me know but again thank you guys so much for watching this video and for listening to me rant for the last five minutes about everything and everything so yeah i'm signing off and until the next one i'll catch you guys later bye